Look at this. Hey, what's up, fellow thrifters? I am actually on my way back to the Goodwill, guys. I don't always follow my tips. Always make sure to check your clothes before you buy them. I got home, I was about to wash some cool shirts that I bought on last week's episode, and I realized that there were some pit holes, and now I'm gonna go back to the Goodwill, take them back, and I'm gonna get some store credit, so we'll have some money to spend. We're gonna see how much trouble we can get into this week's episode. And by the way, I'm writing solo again, and also, this time I didn't forget, make sure you subscribe down below for more episodes. Let's do this, guys. Let's go. Oh, this is old school WWF, but this looks pretty new. Bradshaw? I think I remember this too. Hmm. Sealed, seven bucks. I'm gonna have to find out how much these go for. Let's go to the maybe pile. Ooh, he's another WWE, WWF guy. Hmm. I don't know who this guy is though. We got Spider-Man. This is a really cool toy. Really bulky Spider-Man too. It's been dipping into that creatine. Oh, look at this. Uh, Harry Houdini magic set. That's pretty cool. Especially if it's full for 15 bucks though. Uh, it's gonna be a no-go. Ooh, the Beepster. Large? Hmm. How much is the Beepster? Five bucks. Not bad. But it's a new print. And it's not an album. Or a tour. Ooh. The cool Spider-Man. Cord. Hmm. <laughs> What is this? Oh, P90X? You see that? Ooh, we got Thanos here. I ask you to what cool. end? It almost looks like Credit, electronic. Run from it. Destiny arrives all the same. 2019 Thanos. Got the Infinity Gauntlet. Ooh. This is a really cool one. Optimus Prime. Look at a different version of Optimus. It's like a cartoon Optimus. I thought this was a Batmobile for like half a second. Definitely not the Batmobile. Ooh. Some Reese's. I can just get this just for the Reese's Cups, guys. Oh. oh. I almost didn't notice this guy. Check this out. It's R2-D2. I mean, I, I think it's R2-D2. Why is he red, though? Huh. All right, guys. I can't find anything on this red R2-D2. Uh, he's obviously battery-operated. But there's no control for him. And I'm taking a risk to see if this even works. $4.99 though. I mean, that's not bad, but... Yeah, without the controller, it's going to be hard. 
So I found this one at the toy section. Come to find out there's a whole section right here. Look at this. Ooh, the Proud family. It's Penny. A lot of these guys, I don't know who. These are like new WWE um, or like old school WCW, WWF. I don't know who these people are, but. Oh, that's pretty cool. Masters of the Universe Revelation. I think I've seen this on Netflix, but just never got around to it. Huh. I'm gonna have to check on this one. It's only 10 bucks. Ooh, Beastman? King Gray School. Oh yeah, they looks like they're repackaged. Like somebody took them and returned them. These are really cool though. I've never seen these here. What is this? Oh, see something pretty big. Oh. Is this what is this? I honestly don't know what this is, but it looks pretty cool. $12.99. Huh. You guys tell me what is this? I really don't I've never seen this. Is this from a cartoon or just a show or Toy line, I don't know what that is. What's this here? Murder Mystery. This has been coming popular. Looks like it's like um, Target Returns. I really want to get one of these. Actually, I do want to get this one. Beast Man. It's 15 bucks. Oh, I'm gonna have to put in a maybe pile and I have to make my decision quick because they're gonna close in about 20 minutes, yeah. guys. Guys, look at this huge digger. Whoa, Hello, I'm Tigger. You scared me. <laughs> Everyone's scared of Tiggers. I mean, I'm not the biggest Winnie the Pooh fan, but four bucks for this huge Tigger. I know some guys are going to be screaming right now to get this. I just can't hold myself to get it. I don't know what I would do with it. I mean, I love Tigger. But guys, this is so cool. I mean, I would take this in a heartbeat if I had someone that would actually appreciate it. But I don't. So sadly, Tigger, I'm going to stay here. Sorry. Oh, here's a little fun place set. It's a Play-Doh. You can make ice cream. Kitchen Creations. Ooh, how much is this? This looks like a, yeah, it's another Target repackage. They then send these a lot to, um, to these Goodwill's repackaged Toys R, Toys R Us. I'm going too old school for you guys. Uh, Target returns or repackaged items. They end up here at the Goodwill. I've been seeing a lot of them recently. This one's 50 bucks. It must retail for a lot though. Oh, this is so old school, but it brings back so much good memories. We used to have one of these when I was a little kid um, in my room, like in the back of the door. Not this big, but one like this. And me and my brother and cousins would just play all the time, try to beat each other, throw those darts. Of course, we lost every one of them, and then eventually it broke. But these are actually really fun to play with, guys. Who has a little kid that loves to play with their dad's tools? This thing would be perfect. It's a little Tykes workbench, two-in-one building to learn motor and wood shop. Oh, I know somebody really close to me that would love this for a little Tyke. This is so cool. You can work with the drill, basically put on a whole motor. I mean, come on, guys. Look at this. Sold as is, no returns. As for the chargers, it comes with the charger. I remember my cousins used to have one of these, a Jeep, though. Red one. Oh. 
that's the price on it, and that's why it's still here. But I mean, it's Polaris. Looks brand new too. Who would, honestly, who would drop this off at the Goodwill? And why? Whose kids rejected this? I literally walked, walked by this and didn't even notice it. I swear I remember this. I don't know if my sister had one or I just saw a neighbor that had one. I do remember this Barbie carry-on airplane thing. It even has Barbies inside. Somebody was playing with this. Obviously, this doesn't come in it. But, ooh, it's like a, it's in their seat. That's so cool. It's a Barbie, like, this is the stewardess that's just in there. Seven bucks. I mean, it's pretty beat up, no lie, guys, but it's all there. It even has like a battery thing. All right, guys, we're going bin hunting in these blue bins. This is the stuff that they're still haven't put out yet, so this hasn't been picked through yet. Friendship bracelets, anybody? These are always cool. These are always fun to throw in the mud. Ugh. Probably shouldn't have touched that, guys. Ooh, anybody need a mustache? There's a look to this backpack that I really like, guys. I don't know if it's this tribal thing or the Northwest thing. It just looks like Screams Seattle Vibes. Which is this, seven bucks? Oh, it's a little beat up from the bottom though. Somebody definitely used this. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you the pickups for today. Nothing too crazy. Honestly, I just didn't have enough time uh, to look around. The store was closing, so I had to be really quick and I had to exchange, or not exchange for a basically return some stuff for credit, uh, which is kind of like an exchange because then I just use it to buy this stuff. I always uh, end up returning stuff when it's like ripped or stained and I can't get it out. Uh, but I just use it as credit for to buy more cool stuff. This time, I got this cool shirt. It's literally like brand new. You guys not might, might not be familiar. Uh, this is a, um, a local hockey team called the Tri-City Americans. Um, me and Tanya always go to their games. So this is really cool to find. It's literally like brand new. I don't think anybody's ever worn this. So I'm going to wash this. Make sure you always wash your clothes from a pre-owned area, pre-owned store. And then I found this. It's a Beachbody P90. X, welcome to the world of serious trading. I don't know if I'm going to use this or sell it, but I do know that these can uh, go up in value. I know a lot of people look for these and guess what? It is complete. It has all the CDs in here. I didn't have a chance to look, like I said, um, while I was at the Goodwill, I didn't really get a chance to look at everything. Uh, but yeah, it comes with everything. I already opened it up, make sure everything was in there, all these CDs and everything. Um, calendar, nothing has a mark on it. So whoever bought this uh, didn't even use it. Comes with all this stuff. And guys, four bucks. Look at that. Four bucks for this P90X Extreme Hope Fitness. That's a steal, my friends. And that's why I like going it because I can use this. I mean, summer's coming up. You know, I want to look like that guy. Uh, but I can also sell it. So uh, either case, I'm winning, and this is one of my favorite local teams, so I'm winning there. Big up today, guys. Thank you for watching uh, this video. Make sure you subscribe down below, and I will catch you guys next time. Happy thrifting, guys. Mm -hmm.